As we've learned, classic creme brulee has countless flavor variations, but now it's time to think a little bit outside the box, or outside the ramekin. I'm going to make an eggless ice wine creme brulee and pour it into stemless wine glasses. I like to chill the ice wine brulee on an angle. So to do this, I just prop the wine glasses in a brownie tin. An egg carton works just as well. For the creme brulee itself, it starts just the same way as the classic vanilla bean creme brulee. I've got two and a half cups of whipping cream. I'll add three quarters of a cup of sugar. And I'm heating the cream just until the point where the sugar has fully dissolved into it. I'm going to use half a cup of ice wine, which is an intensely sweet wine harvested in the middle of winter. And it has a beautiful aroma of honey and apricots and peaches and pears, just delectable in any dessert. And I need to further enhance the acidity with two tablespoons of lemon juice. Because there's no eggs, the acidity from the wine and the lemon juice work with the fat in the cream, and over time, thickens up. So what your trade-off is, is you don't have eggs in your creme brulee, but you do have to let it sit in the fridge for eight hours to really set fully. The whipping cream doesn't have to reach any particular temperature. I just tilt the pot, and once I see there's no sugar at the very bottom, then I know the sugar has fully dissolved. I take the whipping cream off the heat, add my ice wine and lemon juice, I want to let it cool down a little bit so I don't get that condensation on the outside of the glass. And that allows me the time to make my oat brulee. So what I have is a preheated oven to 375. And I'm just making a mixture of oats and maple syrup. Three tablespoons of regular rolled oats. And then a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. And I just stir to coat the oats. I pour this in, and for 15 to 20 minutes in that 375 oven, the maple syrup caramelizes to a crispy candy coating over the oats. While that cooks, my ice wine mixture is now cool enough to fill. And I want to do this without splashing, so I'm just going to fill it using a squeeze bottle. I'll let these cool completely to room temperature and then chill them so that remains consistent with the whole creme brulee formula. Mmm. It almost smells like a fruit crisp, the toasted oats and the maple syrup. It's still soft right now, so you have to let it cool down completely before you crack it and use it as your brulee. I have one already cooled, as well as an ice wine creme brulee that has had its eight hours to sit. I'll just drop some fresh berries in the bottom of the glass. Then I simply lift up and crack a few pieces to place on top. You truly get that full impact of creme brulee with the crackle on top the creamy custard underneath, and then the fresh berries. You can take these ideas to your own kitchen, bake, and enjoy.